Hey everybody, Carl here with Pave Chaser and welcome to today's vlog. Now today I'm going to take uh, some side cases or panniers and I'm going to install them here on my brand new 2021 KTM Duke 890. My plan for this bike actually is going to turn it into a bit of a touring motorcycle. And uh, so I was looking for something that would give uh, a lot of fun driving. So a lot of pull torque, you know, kind of a sport bike behavior, but maybe be a little bit more friendly uh, to carry a passenger or some luggage and uh, do a little sightseeing at the same time. And so I settled on the 890. And uh, so I'm going to do a couple vlog series on turning this thing into a touring machine, all the while maintaining its scalpel-like behavior, I guess, as they say. The handling on this thing is really great. You'll notice that uh, this is basically a 100% stock Duke, with the exception of the handlebar and uh, mirrors. And that's because uh, these were the stock mirrors that were on there. I don't know, I kind of felt it looked like a reindeer uh, driving around or saw a bug with antennas sticking out. They were pretty ugly. Quite functional, but I found them to be quite ugly. But today we're going to take these panniers and show you kind of what you could expect if you wanted to use the uh, KTM Power Parts uh, side cases and put them on this bike. One thing to point out with this bike is it has the uh, stock exhaust system kind of comes up high here on the back tail. Uh, these side cases are made specifically for that and so they've actually got a heat shield on the inside uh, to, to allow the uh, exhaust flow out. This is the kit that does include the um, rack as well as the side bags. I'm sure there's going to be lots of questions on how much were they. Obviously that's going to vary depending on where you buy it from, what country you're in, etc. I would say safely you can expect to pay $900 to $1,000 tax in Canadian for uh, this kit. Ooh, you know what? I kind of like this. Now this one is the one that has the uh, heat shield. So let's come up here closer and kind of give you a look of it. This is the case. So we got this KTM Power Parts badge here, a uh, small little orange accent, but the rest of it's blacked all out. It's kind of got this hard shell nylon feel to it. I, uh, I don't, as you can tell from my bike, I don't want too much orange on it because I really like the idea of it being blacked out. Uh, and this is the heat shield here uh, that's going to allow the exhaust to come through here and uh, so this is the smaller of the two bags in terms of storage space. And uh, you know, it's not too bad. You do have this bit of a bulge here from the heat shield. You have this locking mechanism here. So it looks like with a handle right on top. So you're gonna be able to just unlock that, take it and go. And uh, I think this, this is gonna look pretty sharp. These are going to have a lot of storage room in them. Like I'm pretty impressed actually. They're, I'm, I'm still a little concerned they might be a little too big. So this is pretty much it. Now this is, looks like it's going to be extremely, extremely easy to install. So here we have in all of that, in those big boxes, we have the two cases here. We have the two brackets and then we have two bolts for each bracket. And those are going to likely be installed on here. So I've been like pouring over these instructions, trying to figure out how uh, this is going to work. And no, I wasn't. <laughs> There's a few pages of instructions on here. It's basically one page and uh, it's very straightforward. All you basically need is an Allen key, which is going to fit your replacement screws that are going to go here. Um, and uh, you need a Torx bit. This is a T45. And that's going to allow you to loosen those two nuts. And uh, yeah, so basically you were just going to, there's four bolts, two on each side, and then you connect two in the middle. And it seems like your racking system is installed. Super simple. There we go. <laughs> that's how they're going to connect like so. And uh, you get your four bolts and uh, we're going to be good to go. So Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, the first one's out. Now, see the bolts here? So this is the stock bolt. This is the bolt that came with it. You can see that it's just a little bit longer. The nice thing is the four bolts that came with it are all exactly the same, so there's no worry about mixing them up. Now you don't want to torque these up too much right away. You just want to get them fairly snug enough to catch on the inside receiver. Um, we'll torque them up once we get the other side on and everything is all put in. So there's no mistaking this bracket. Uh, with this bracket, because we have this great big flare out here to you know allow the exhaust to clear by. This, this is really basic guys. Uh, this this how-to video is not really a how-to. This is really more of a uh, what's involved type video. So we're gonna take basically these two bolts, these two nuts, and uh, underneath the um, racking here, they connect to two pieces each side. And we're gonna put those two bolts right in there to snug that up. So the gist of it is, is that you're gonna want these two grooves to slide onto those two grommets there. So that's pretty much the install of this. Again, super simple guys, six bolts, uh, very, very uh, beginner uh, friendly. And uh, what I'm gonna do, because it's nights outside right now, it's a little bit dark, I'm going to wait until tomorrow when the sun's out and then I'll be able to give you a proper demonstration uh, and walk around of these bags and uh, show you what kind of room they have in them to see if you think they might be good for you. Okay, folks, so here we are the next day and I wanted to give you kind of a visual of what these look like on the bike and kind of what the features of these bags are uh, during the daylight. So we have two zipper systems on here, one that opens the case up, the other one that expands it out. Um, so basically you do have kind of a weatherproof uh, or waterproof covering over the zipper, but these bags are not waterproof. Um, so you do have to keep that in mind. They do come with a, uh, two coverings, or they got a waterproof insert, which I'll show you in a minute, but they also have a waterproof covering bag, so you can actually put that on there like so, and now you do have a bit of a waterproof covering on the exterior of the bag. And it's got a waterproof interior lining here, as well as you do have a waterproof um, bag insert which uh, when you open these all the way open like so, can go inside the bag here. You can put your stuff inside there. And so with, between having them wrapped up in that, as well as having the bag wrapped up with this, I think you're gonna have a pretty good waterproof system. So taking a closer look inside here, you can see that we do have a zipper liner here, which is gonna give you a bit of a mesh um, divider, if you would, so that you can actually keep some of your things stored, and that's gonna be in this portion of the bag. And then you have these tie straps here that you can unlock and open up. But if you wanna store things in here and have them kind of secured with this strap, you can do so. Uh, another neat feature here is you can actually undo these little clips like so and uh, you can pull this right open so this clamshell can open all the way wide uh, if for whatever reason you would like to do so. These little clips here will hold it open and then you've just got the meshing here which I guess gives it a bit more of a waterproof protection or a spray proof protection, I don't know. But anyways, you do have that. So the big question is, is how much stuff can you actually store in here? So like I mentioned, you do have an expansion capability here, which is gonna actually pull this out, gonna allow you to have an extra two inches, two and a half inches on the top part of it, because it doesn't actually pull all the way out. It actually still has the pivot down here, it just pivots out further. Um, so without that open, and I'll give you a look at that when we do the other side. You've got uh, a fair amount of room in here actually, and if you're just, depending on what you're planning on doing with these, what you're planning on carrying, um, if you're just going away overnight and you wanna put clothes in there, I've got a pair of jeans here, that will actually fit nice and tight in around that curve from the muffler. So you could easily fit, you know, three or four pairs of pants, a couple shirts, so on and so forth in there. 
Let's just say you wanted to take a sleeping bag with you and I've got here a micro light uh, sleeping bag. This is a very small sleeping bag meant for backpacking. It's good to plus seven degrees Celsius. 45 degrees Fahrenheit, so I wouldn't be going to uh, the Arctic Circle with this one. But uh, if you did want to carry one of those, that will actually fit in there. And this will close no problem with a sleeping bag in there as well. Take a pair of jeans, put them in here, and you've got a spare. You could probably put another two or three pairs of jeans in there um, in terms of give you an idea of what kind of room. Now, if you opened up the expansion, you are going to be able to, you know, fit a bit more in there. So, so just remember these bags do have a weight limit and um, I will post that weight limit right there uh, because uh, you don't want to be packing too much stuff in there. But all in all, you know, it will hold a fair amount of content. Quick measurement here, uh, you're looking at about nine inches um, without the expansion opened up. Uh, from the top. Don't forget that there's this uh, four inch curve in there. So you're really getting about five inches deep at the shallowest point in here. Um, when you open this up, you are now able to get a maximum of 10 inches uh, of storage space at the widest parts, you know, again, not including that divot area. Now, if we go take a look at the other side, it's a lot more roomier. So over here, we have a little bit different of a situation, a lot more room in here because we don't have that big divot for the exhaust system. And so at its uh, largest, you've got 11 inches without the bags pulled out. Um, if I was to expand the bag, you're gonna get you know, 13, 13 and a half inches um, at its widest point here. So at the top, so you're gonna be able to fit uh, a little bit bigger items in there. And you do have these nice little clips right here that will actually hook into there and you can tighten them so that you don't have all the weight. If this is like a little bit tight, it's not gonna be pulling against your seams. Uh, it'll actually uh, hold that there, which is kind of a nice little feature. For the sake of my demonstration, I will keep the expansion slot closed uh, because personally I prefer to have as much of a streamlined form as possible and I'll really only open those expansion points if uh, it's kind of uh, absolutely necessary for a longer trip. So looking in here again we got the same thing we got that nice mesh uh, divider and uh, so I got just to give you guys an idea of what you can kind of fit in here this is my uh, MSR uh, cooking system. So uh, I've gone everywhere from Costa Rica to Alaska with this bad, bad boy and uh, you can cook an entire box of craft dinner in this uh, and uh, all sorts of other things. Boils really quick. Nonetheless, it's a full cooking system and uh, you can camp for days with this. Uh, and this will fit in here with like oodles of room to spare. In fact, I can actually put it, instead of putting it lengthwise like so, I can actually put it uh, this way and have still have plenty of room for all sorts of other stuff in there. Um, this is my uh, Hennessy hammock. And again, this has been with me on many, many journeys, motorcycle trips and whatnot. It's uh, really small. Uh, it's a full hammock system with a tent over you. So it doesn't matter if the ground's wet, if it's raining, you stay dry. And uh, it's a great little system. Bought this about eight years ago, maybe a bit more. Um, and they only weigh three pounds and so super light and it's super compact. This hammock actually fits in here. Uh, I could actually cram a pair of jeans in on top of that. I have my MSR cook stove here and uh, that actually closes and there's still plenty of room in there. Um, I could take the sleeping bag that we used in the other side and I could actually put that in here without much issue at all in fact. I really believe that you could do a pretty good road trip just with these two bags and not putting anything else up here. Hey everybody, so I'm just out here taking a cruise and uh, I was planning on getting some bike shots um, of the coast and this beautiful sunset we have behind me. So uh, I'm out in Bathurst right now, Bathurst, New Brunswick. I've got my camera here. And I was just unloading my camera from these bags and I was like super shocked to find out that inside these bags is a feature that I've not seen advertised anywhere. And that is, so 
you open the bag up here and you look way up underneath here, up there. Look at that. So that never did I see this advertised anywhere, is so that you actually get a little combination lock with a wire here, and that is going to allow you to zip up, to lock your zippers closed while the bags are still on your bike. So that means now not only are your bags secured to the bike, but people can't actually get into your bag unless they take a knife and cut through it. Anyways, this lock, is a combination lock and it is on both bags. It comes with the KTM Power Parts bags, so uh, you don't have to go out and buy those. They come with the bag. I thought that was super cool. So that's basically the overview of these KTM side cases for the Duke 890, uh, 790 as well, I think a couple other models. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some useful information out of it. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more video content on you know touring with this duke and of course other motorcycles and motorcycle content in general and uh until next time guys thanks for watching and uh have a great day